How's everybody doing today? This is a review. I saw this movie at Blockbuster for about a month now, and I didn't pick it up. Kept seeing the cover looked unique. Finally, I was like, let me check it out on Amazon. It wasn't released yet on Amazon. It's not going to be released until Tuesday. And uh, I have never heard anything about this movie. Didn't really, actually didn't even uh, read much about it. I was just like, you know what, let me pick it. It'll be kind of neat to check it out before it's actually officially come out, or officially released. So I, I picked it up. Uh, I had a cool cover, and the tagline kind of drew me in as well. And uh, that movie is Pontypool. The tagline is Shut Up or Die. And it's a Canadian horror film uh, directed by Bruce McDonald. It's very unique, very inventive. While I was watching it, I was thinking this is really exciting. I was really getting into it. It's not your typical zombie movie or infected movie, if you will. If you're looking for gore and violence, this isn't it. But if you're looking for a uh, very intelligent, well-done movie that's thought-provoking, this is right up your alley. And it's about a radio DJ, Grant Mazzy who uh, used to be in a bigger market, but he got fired. So he had to go to in a smaller market, and he's in Pontypool, Ontario, Canada, which is named after a Welsh town. Right from the beginning, you know, within the first minute, something eerie happens, and that kind of sets the tone and mood of the movie. And you know something creepy is going to happen. Grant Mazzy, he's the radio DJ there. He looks like uh, the lead actor that plays him. He looks like Hugh Laurie uh, from House. He looks like Hugh Laurie with a cowboy hat on, basically. And the majority of this movie is filmed inside of the radio station, which is actually inside of a church, even. It starts out, it's a regular day, it's Valentine's Day, actually. You know, all these weird and violent occurrences start happening, and they're getting all this, this stuff coming in uh, from the town, and they're finding more and more out about it. Just really intriguing. I've never seen a movie quite like this before. Very well done. They even pay homage into it by uh, in a certain scene. They have the book uh, Snow Crash, which deals with a similar subject matter in a Sumerian language, actually. But essentially, I'm not going to give away too much, uh, but it's basically about a virus that infects people, and it's uh, spread through uh, the English language. I'm only going to say that much about it because I believe that actually is in the write-up on the back of uh, the description on here on the back of the DVD. Right, that's all I'm going to really say about it, and I thought that was really interesting. And uh, so it's about uh, a virus that's spread through the English language, through certain words and uh, phrases. And talk about atmospheric. This is the epitome of atmospheric. It's kind of like uh, Orson Welles' uh, World of the World broadcast, radio broadcast, meets George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. I think that is a, a good definition of this movie, at least in my opinion. It's a great mixture of that kind of... the theme of it is not as, as complex as it seems at all. Even though little is shown throughout the movie, uh, except for at the end, it does a great job of setting a very unsettling mood. The mood and tone of this movie is really great and creepy, and uh, it does a fantastic job of letting uh, the viewer's imagination run wild. It kind of has uh, political undertones, maybe kind of like a political hysteria message as well. kind of has different messages of, of does love equal understanding, make love not war. I know that kind of, kind of sounds cheesy, but you'll kind of understand towards the end of the movie what I'm talking about. Um, very interesting movie. I've never quite seen anything like it. It's kind of a breath of fresh air. Uh, it's not too many movies I've been excited about, like I've been excited about this movie after I was done watching it. I was just like really amped up. I wanted to watch it again. It was just really well done. This is basically, I think in my opinion, this is probably going to be either a love it or hate it movie. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Uh, this isn't going to be for everybody, but I love it. I thought this was just really well done. And if you guys have actually seen this movie, definitely let me know what you think. And especially after after the credits, you hear some radio talk, and they're talking about what happened in Pontypool. At the very end, after the credits, there's a scene that happens. And uh, if you guys have seen that, definitely let me know what you think of that scene in particular. I'm curious to get feedback about that. But if you've seen this movie, definitely let me know what you think of it. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. And again, if you're looking for gore and violence, this isn't it. But it's very thought-provoking, very well done, uh, and very different and unique. Very inventive and unique. So, again, definitely check this movie out. I loved it, and I highly recommend it. Hope everybody's doing well, and potty pool.